coming to you live from the contaminated dungeon. It's Max the Animal and Mickey Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I'm your host, Max the Animal. This is my partner, Nikki Snacks. The winner. And as always, we will be giving you our best bets for this weekend's NFL action. And I'm going to hold this mic because this whole set's a piece of shit. And everything's going apart. I think we're going to switch to lab mics. I'm going to switch to lab mics. Just a little show update. Another update. Well, we're almost in 2020, so pretty soon we won't even have to be talking into mics. So Maybe. But another update. Another breaking news. Two and one last week for me. Two and one. That's five and one overall. My last six bets. I'm hot right now. See, you're a selfish player because you could have said your bagels and locks team went four and two with one big lock. Of course, your big lock loses as it does always every week. But you didn't say that. So much better. You, 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 you just talked about your five one the last two weeks. Why don't you uh, let the rest of the people know what you did the previous nine weeks? We're not worried about that. Listen, the overall record's up there. You know, it's yeah. twelve and twenty one. We know what it yeah, is. Yeah, self explanatory. So one's a loser, one's not. Yeah, but loser. We're not worried no, about no, that. No, because if you, if you, if you, if you don't want to appreciate the team winning last week four and two, both of us together, fight. What are you doing? Wait, Sit the f I'm a two-time EWF champion. Tell the people. It's true. I've seen him jump off the roof. Yeah. I used to, uh, if you guys watch Fade the Public, I used to, I was the CEO and owner of a front yard wrestling league, and I was the only two-time champion of that league. First bout Hall of Famer of that league, too. So the fact that you even tried to throw a fist at me is, is disgusting, and it's embarrassing on your end. So stop. We had a winning week for the people last week. Four and two, four and two, four and two. All right. Start it off, baby. I'm going to start it off. I'm going to give you my first pick. I'm hot right now. Bad pick. I'm hot right now. <laughs> Pittsburgh at Cincinnati. We're going plus six and a half with Cincinnati. We're, going, we're taking the home dog. It's simple. It's simple. Ryan finally found a franchise quarterback from the Bengals, if that even made sense. It's Finley. It's, it's Ryan, no, it's Ryan finally a franchise quarterback. I thought Ryan, his last name was Finley. It's finally I found know a franchise say, quarterback. But you should have said, Ryan finally Finley. No. No? So here's, here's the thing, though. This bet's doomed to lose. No, it's not. It's not. I'm also going to say, sprinkle on the money line. That's not official, but you should. Because the Bengals need a win. They're going to have to have a win one time this year, right? They're going to get one win. This is the week. After last week's catastrophe with the Steelers and everything that happened with Miles Garrett and Mason Rudolph, Marquise Pouncey's out. It's just, it's, it's just, it's destined for a Bengals win. But plus six and a half, that's the easy win right there. Take that. I'm a sharp. Plus six and a half. <laughs> you can go. <laughs> I know I can go, but why do you have to end it off with I'm a sharp <laughs> to make me laugh? I'm just I was about to bring out my whole my whole introduction that it's turtleneck season, baby. If you all remember, if they the public last year, turtleneck season never fails. That's why we're taking Buffalo minus four against your trash bag organization with John Elway is destroyed for the last years against the Denver Broncos. Buffalo Bills minus four at home. I see it as Denver is sneaky good team. They should have won a lot of games. Defense is right solid. or wrong? No, we lost. I think I believe it's six out of our seven losses were all by one possession and uh, like four of them, four of them on the last possession itself. Yeah. So I, I the last week they were up twenty nothing against the Minnesota Vikings on the road, and they completely demoralized themselves. <laughs> let them lose. They twenty seven three in the second half. What more do you have to play for? You know you're not going to win games. So why would you go into the Bills Mafia, 1 o'clock game, West Coast team, traveling back from Minnesota just to travel back to the East Coast? I just don't see them being amped for this game. And they'll probably keep it close, but Buffalo pulls away late, covers the four and a half spread, four, 
I'm sorry. Why would I? Why would I cheat myself? The four point spread, Buffalo minus four, first lock of the week. Okay. Do you disagree? Uh, I'm not going to get involved in that, Homer. I'm just going to stay away from that. I'm going to give you my next pick. I also want to just do a quick, a quick confession. So oh, sweet Jesus. I'm 12 and 21 overall, but we know. We know. I have been lying to everybody. I've been taking these picks. I've been losing on purpose just for the entertainment of the show. And my confession is I am a sharp. I actually am a sharp. I've been a sharp and I've just been acting like I don't know what I'm doing for entertainment. But I am a sharp. And now I'm turning on. I'm I'm giving you the real sharp picks. Here's the next one. It's Jacksonville at Tennessee. Minus three. We're taking Tennessee. It's simple. Why? See what that says? Zoom in on that. It says freak athlete because Derrick Henry is going to destroy the Jaguars defense. It's going to be so easy. Marlon Mack trampled, trampled them last week. This week is Derrick Henry's turn. Fresh off a bye, fresh legs. He's going to 175 all-purpose yards. Derrick Henry. He's going to catch the ball too. Minus three, Tennessee Titans. Freak athlete, lock it up. Let's go. Freak athlete, lock it up. He's going to stiff arm. He's going to stiff arm his head off. I'm a shark is what you quoted yourself saying. I'm a shark. You are undoubtedly, undoubtedly, the most pathetic human being I've ever met in my life. Neither a sharp or a liar. We should have to find out. Well, sharps are usually liars, so you're probably both. See what I did there? Anyway, you just took the Tennessee Titans and freak athlete Derrick Henry run all over Tom Coughlin's defense, huh? Or I should say Doug Marone's. It's Tom Coughlin's team. But here's where I come into play. I am taking Jacksonville plus three on the road. What? Why do you roll your eyes? You are nine games under 500. I'm nine games over because 500, I'm, and I'm not. I'm I'm 10 in one of my big locks. This isn't a big lock, but I'm just saying I'm a lot better at this than you. So you have no, you have no reason, rightful reason, to ever doubt what I'm about to say. So don't, don't <laughs> sit there. Put your head down. Put your head down. Keep it down. Embarrassing. Let me tell you a little. Yeah, it is embarrassing. It should be embarrassing. You've lost these people a lot of money. A lot of college kids' tuitions have been lost because of your picks. <laughs> not mine. So what you're going to do is you're going to take Jacksonville plus three on the road against Tennessee. Tennessee's not a good team. And with that, I give you a trend. I'll give you a little angle. The Tennessee Titans are 0-23 against the spread if they are, listen to this, if they are, off a win, and their opponent allowed 370 yards last game. Such a stupid stat. What happened? Oh my God. The Titans are off a win, and the Jaguars allowed 370-plus yards. That is what I call a trend. 0-23 on that trend. It's so what we're going to do? No, a trend. What we're going to do? Animals gonna, a trend. I'm gonna... trending in the right direction. I'm 5-1 and one in my last six picks. That's a trend. That's a trend. What you just said was a nonsense stat. Nonsense stat trend. You know what? I actually agree. I hate trends. I thought it was pretty relevant, but it's not. Tom Coughlin. Tom Coughlin coaches this team. Not Doug Marone. Tom Coughlin, a two-time Super Bowl champion. If you guys didn't know this, I'm a Giants fan. I don't think they knew that. There's no way. They knew that. He's going to rush for over 140 yards. Book it. Player prop. Jaguars cover the three points. They win outright. Book it. Jaguars plus three over the Titans against this stupid f- pick. All right. Oh, I'm just getting beaten down again by Snacks himself. Let's go to the big dog pick. Uh, Joe. Let's go, Joe. What do you got? What's cracking big dogs? No, just kidding. I'm not Nick. It is Joe, your E-Town get down champion, as you can see from this, that I will hold through this entire video. I am picking the Saints to cover the nine and a half at home 
against the Panthers. Panthers are 5-5, five and five, Saints are 8-2. The only Saints losses are against the Rams in the beginning of the year and the Falcons two weeks ago, which was, that's a super anomaly at home. I believe that Kyle Allen has been exposed. I mean, he's still okay, but he's been exposed as of late. McCaffrey is an absolute stud, but he can only take you so far. Defenses can really key in on McCaffrey and make everyone stack the box and do all these other things to try and get him off his game. The game's in the Superdome. And this is going to be Drew Brees' second game back in the Superdome. Also, the Panthers' defense is pretty hurt. They are banged up right now. The secondary is not good. I got the Saints covering the 9.5 at home. I think it's going to be more like 15 points. But it's a sucker bet. They want you to think They want you to think that, oh, there's, they'll lose by 7. And it's fine. Sucker bet. Don't do it. Don't believe the hype. Kyle Allen's overrated. Going into the dome. Rough territory. I have actually driven past that Superdome. Scary building. They mess your ass up in there. All right. See you later. It's not a bad pick. Man, no, I, I like it. Drew Brees, Carolina Strong, Alvin Carolina Kamara. Strong. Yeah, they look like they look terrible. Kyle Allen does not look like the answer. It's definitely going to be Cam Newton in the future no, there still. No, no, no. So, Cam Newton's done there. Good luck, Joe. Big dogs have a solid record, I think. Right? Yeah, they're, because they're Yannick faded you for three picks, and you went 0-3 naturally. None of your picks even remotely covered that week. Whatever. Boom! Did you hear that? Oh, there it is again! Ah! It is time for the big loot. Dude, I just five and one. When you're five and one in your last six picks, you're strong. You get stronger. Okay, and how, why don't you tell everybody what you are in your overall big locks? Because you overall big locks is two and nine. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's whatever. Crickets or something. Yeah, it's know. whatever. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Send crickets. Five and one. My last six picks. Here's the deal. Ready? It's simple. Baltimore Ravens at Los Angeles Rams minus three. Lamar Jackson MVP. Goff sucks. Super Bowl hangover. Baltimore Ravens minus three. They absolutely destroyed, destroyed the Texans. And you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do with this bet? I'm going to go all in. I'm going to splash it the pot. Everything I got on the Ravens, minus three, easiest money you'll ever make in your life. Don't fade the Ravens, don't fade Animal. Big lock, Ravens minus three. It's too easy. Too easy. Ooh. I don't That's know. Good, I don't know what I hate more, my life or that pick. I'm gonna tell you right now, the Rams cover plus three and hit, plus three, and they win the game outright. I'm just, I'm Ravens defense looking good. Jared Goff I'm, is. Just terrified out there. I'm just, just terrified. I'm just telling you that's that's what's gonna happen. Let's go. Let's go. Let's wrap it up. Let's get your shit pick out of the way. My shit pick. My shitty pick. I am nine and two on big locks. I'm. Uh, oh my god. I sold myself short. Animal. Tell me my record on big locks. It's gotta be like nine and two, right? So we're no. eleven. We're nope. eleven weeks it's in. One better. It's ten and one. I am ten and one on big locks. You that's are going good. to listen to a f schmutz. A mutt, a f miserable, rotten, trying to enjoy himself moron on a big lock and not mine. You're an idiot. Anyway, I am going to take the Atlanta Falcons and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers over 51 and a half. Listen, it's simple. Bucks in the over. Right? See? Simple, right? Yeah, See what I did there? It is there? simple. simple. A lot of touchdowns. Matt Ryan's been playing on fire. They can't run the ball. That's fine. Because Tampa Bay doesn't let any rushing routes allowed. They have had massive success running the ball or throwing the ball. They're going to continue to throw the ball. Tampa Bay, they always get they always get down very quickly. And they always throw the ball and they always get back into contention that way. So you have two throwing teams, one of which can't run the ball. The other which wants to try and run the ball, but they won't be able to because they're going to be down so much. They're just going to keep throwing it. That's the Buccaneers, by the way. They're not going to. Be, they're going to be able. They're going to try to run the ball, but they can't because they're going to be down so much. And they're just going to keep throwing, and the points are going to come. The galore of points, fifty-two. The Atlanta Falcons, thirty-four. 
The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 27. The over is going to hit. I'm going to go 11-1 on big locks. It's going to be way too easy for life in general. I'm so sick of listening to you and all your losers. That's all I got to say. Atlanta, Tampa Bay, over 51 and a half. Boom. Lock it in. I you, also have you know, I also have a few other winners no, just, just, just for free. I just wanted to say I, I have other free winners. I know everybody pays it here. These I winners, just want to say one thing. Winners. The show started out. We were supposed to be rooting for each other. No, no, you, you, and, you, you, you did that. You and, did that. You stupid mother. <laughs> you did that. You oh, yeah, started I did it for entertainment purposes. You, That's right. Yeah, the you I lost started. On purpose. You're right. No, you're right. I, I, I tried doing that. This, we're in the same episode. I said that like five minutes ago. Yeah, dumb mother. Never mind. God, I told myself I'd stop cursing too because. It's just not ethical, and I'm a, I'm a good Catholic boy. But you are done. You started this. I'm rooting against you now. Well, there you have it, everybody. Wait, 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 wait. We have a special edition of Bagels and Locks next week. And we'll explain. Well, we'll, we'll talk about it later. No, we should talk about it now. Give me a preview. No, that's uh, that's it, everybody. Have a have a great weekend. Good luck today. Thanks for coming by. Like, uh, like, uh, comment, subscribe. Send your best uh, picks in. Blah, blah, blah. Bagels and locks. That's it. Love you. Really do. Send your best picks of the week down below. Tell Animal how much he's been. Well. Bagels and locks?